Hi everyone, it's Karen here from Dark Moon Emporium and today I've been looking at using arrays and barcodes in x Creative Space version 2. So this is the applications menu and hiding in here we have grid array, circle array, material test array and code generation. Now for the first three I need to have a, a shape on my canvas to begin with. So I'm going to pick the star just because I like the star. Turn that out of the way and uh, let's make it about that size and we'll put it into the uh, into the top center of the screen the top middle of the screen so now I'm going to select that and uh, so that I can see it a bit more clearly I think I'm going to change that to engrave and uh, I'm going to go down here to the applications panel and I'm going to choose grid array so with grid array selected I'm going to put in the number of columns I need I'm going to go for five they're going to be one millimeter apart actually let's up that a little bit let's make it 1.5 millimeters there's plenty of room and I'm going to have five rows and I'm going to make them 1.5 millimeters apart as well and then I'm going to click OK and let's close that out of the way and now I have a grid of 25 stars all evenly spaced just like that um, but let's have a look at the circular array so this is the menu that pops up with the circular array and let me move that out of the way so you can see what's going on underneath in the preview. So it's given me the default values, which is eight copies um, at a step of 45, starting at zero, ending at 360. And as you can see, they're all on top of one another. Um, now, maybe you want that. Maybe you want to create a, a multiple pattern and you would select them all and, and weld them together. I do not. So... I am going to increase the Y value to, oh, let's go with 200. And I'll stick with eight copies and a step of 45 because that's the default. And I've got rotate object copies selected. And when I hit OK, as you can see, those have been distributed so I've got one two three four five six seven eight copies and they've been distributed around the uh, in a circular fashion because it's a circular array if I undo that and select that again and select a circular array again and this time I'm going to let's have 12 copies let's say I was making a clock and that's automatically changed to 30, uh, 30 degree steps because they're 30 degrees apart. And again, um, let's go with a, uh, a Y value of 200. And this time I'm going to turn off, rotate the object copies and OK. So this time I have 12 copies of my star um, and they are all in the same orientation as the first one. So that's the circular array. Let's undo everything and I'm going to make that smaller and I'm going to change that from score to engrave because the next thing I'm going to look at is the material test array. So what this does, it's built into your, your system. If you have a material that you want to test, uh, 
you can create your own test grid. So you don't have to pay for one. You don't have to go and get one from Etsy. You don't have to go and get one from somebody's website. You just use the material test array built into XCS. And here you can decide your maximum and minimum power. So the maximum is set at 100, the minimum is set at 10. Let's say I know I don't want to go anywhere near um, 100 uh, max. I'm going to go with 80 and my minimum is, um, let me say, I'm pretty sure that it's, it, it's going to need to be more than 20%. Speed, um, I'm going to stay with the maximum of four millimeters per second but i'm going to get a minimum speed of uh so minimum is 10 let's go with 50. i want five columns and five rows i'm going to allow that i want my spacing to be three millimeters apart and i'm going to okay that close out of that and now i have an engrave test tool test pattern if I wanted to uh, have a cut test pattern, I would do the same, except I would change my start parameters to cut. And again, I would choose my material test array. This time I'm just going to accept what's there because I just want to show you. And that is my, my uh, cut pattern tested and I can send that to my to my laser in this case my G1 because that's the the screen I'm working on and it will uh, it will perform that cut that test pattern for me and I can see what it are the best settings for the particular material that I'm wanting and then afterwards I can save them in uh, in in my own parameters I want to engrave my Dark Moon Emporium logo onto some little fabric bags that I have. Uh, so I've run my material test grid and I have decided that a speed of 200 millimeters per second and a power of 50% is the correct um, is the correct parameters for what I'm working on. So let me show you this. Okay, so just first of all, I want to make sure that Everything I have here is ungrouped and I'm using user defined material and I'm just going to bring up the easy set panel and if I click on the speed and uh, power that I want, can you see that it changes? don't have to put anything into there so now I can save that give it a saving of fabric bag and save it and now I can go to my logo and I can choose I'll close that a minute because it's getting in the way I can choose from my list of user defined fabric bag and it sets the power and the speed uh, and everything else for me. I think that's pretty cool. The last option in the applications tab is code generation and it tells you what to do. Enter a text to generate a barcode or QR code and add it to your design. So I'll just show you how that works. Let me just get rid of that. So I've copied the code from my uh, my YouTube channel which should be what you're watching and I'm going to leave the uh, I'm going to leave the defaults as they are and I'm going to hit save and that's generated a QR code for me if I undo that and let's change it to a barcode and again, same thing, and that has generated a barcode for me. So if anybody scans that with a barcode scanner, that will take them to my YouTube channel. 
And uh, there it is. So I hope that you found that useful. And if you did, please do consider liking the video or even subscribing to my channel because I shall be posting more videos soon. But for now, thank you very much for joining me. And I hope I'll see you again sometime soon. Bye-bye.